everyone welcome back to another edition of the driving professor for those of you who are actually new to the channel i am your host rashid white and on this channel i teach you defensive driving strategies that's not taught in driving schools i'm a professional driver i've been driving professionally for 23 and a half years damn near 24 years um probably in august though i think all right so this video comes from florida today and this is a really tragic accident and i'm over here to try to teach people to avoid things like this and today's video is going to be about how to avoid head-on collisions and let me just get this video up i should have had it probably prepped already but that's okay let's see here we go The number of crashes involving a medium or heavy truck like a semi continues to increase both nationally and here in Florida. CBS this morning obtained new video of the deadly church van crash that killed seven people back in January near Gainesville, Florida. It shows the moment that a semi truck plowed into that van. Horrible video. Five of those people were on their way to Disney World. As federal investigators tried to determine the cause, Chris Van Cleve spoke to one person who was inside that van. Now we do want to warn you, the video you are about to see in this story is very tough to watch. When I go visit her grave, I just say, why? Why? Why here? This new dash camera video is hard to watch. The Eagle Express semi comes from the far northbound lane, hits a car before crossing the median, slamming into the side of this van and shattering Allie Laborde's life. I all right, so when you're actually driving, you have to get the big picture. Now, the, the hard thing about this, that this like accidents like these, I know they said on the news report that it's, uh, you know, it's, 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 you know, increasing, but it's, it's uh, rare to read to actually see a truck like this actually lose control, cross over the divided lane, and then smash head on into, uh, you know, into a car, unfortunately. But let's look at this video one more time. And when you're driving now, you gotta look 12 to 15 seconds ahead. And this is one of the hard parts about driving here is that, you know, th again, like things like this don't actually happen. And for me, when you're driving, you have to really kind of prep yourself and say, hey, all right, this happens, that happens, then I'm gonna do this. And let's see. So, you know, you gotta leave one, you gotta leave yourself an out. So this is the van right here. And now this truck was coming at me. You can't freeze on this type of stuff though. Can't freeze. You have to always have a plan in motion. The far northbound lane hits a car before crossing the median. So right now, once you see this truck, you got to look at this over here. You have to see this actually happening. And you, you have to take action. And that means kind of swerving out the way and probably clipping this car him you know he's going to actually react too in a sense though once she reacts and that should kind of get both of them out of the way but this car in the dash cam i don't think he's you know let's see let's, let's, let's I think does the dash cam car get hit yeah that's a tractor trailer all right this is another tractor trailer no way a tractor trail was actually gonna uh, uh, prevent this right over here, man. There's just no way. But the the two cars, well, the one, the lady that's actually driving the car, she could have actually somewhat prevented this accident here. And you know, leave your always leave yourself an out, man, because there's still there'll be times where you're gonna have to probably get on over and and avoid stuff like this, or you know, you kind of want to speed up. And there's times I'm in situations like this where i see you know a car blowing a stop sign or or i'm driving through and i see someone like like speeding i'm like oh i gotta speed up and everything i gotta just make sure everything is clear around me and in front of me and on the sides of me which i do kind of check before i actually make those uh uh inter intersections there One weeks pregnant was a chaperone in the church van headed for Disney World January 3rd. She woke up on the pavement, bloodied, mm. surrounded by debris, the burning 18 wheeler, and bodies. I kept telling them that everyone was okay, they're just hurt. 
I didn't realize the severity. I didn't realize that there were five children that weren't alive. Her 13 year old daughter Kara and Kara's cousin Sierra were among the five young lives lost on Interstate 75 that day. Ah, oh, that's terrible. That is so, that is so horrible. From the same small Louisiana town in Marksville. They'd saved up for the Disney World trip for a year. The board learned of her daughter's death from her hospital bed. All right, I, I, it's hard for me to watch things like this. So apparently. They're actually going to sue the truck company, which is Eagle Transport, I believe. Uh, I don't know that actually definitively. I mean, it says it in the rest of this video. I just forgot. I can't watch this anymore. This is so terrible. And they said the driver actually had a medical episode. Maybe, you know, and they have some type of uh, a, a system in there where they can actually, uh, you know, like a, a dash cam where maybe it was a company dash cam and they can actually see exactly what happened. And they're suing, this family's actually suing the truck company here for a wrongful death. But um, I don't know how the laws work on that. If the driver did have a medical episode, they would have to go and look into his records and and, uh, and see whether, I mean, this, you know, I, I drove one of these tractor trailers and they, uh, you know, this don't you know kind of wash you into the doctors the doctors have their license on the line too so mm, this is going to be so it's going to take three or four years and the ntsb said that it was a government shutdown so they couldn't really investigate the crash so that's uh this is a this is a, this is a mess right here and somebody you know, I, I don't know man I'll, I'll definitely do some more follow-ups on, on the story to see whether the truck drive, the truck company, I'm sorry, is actually held accountable for this over here. All right, so let's wrap this video up. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, certainly share this video. When you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.